all Fremont Street performers as of December 30th, 2021, are licensed to do business with their registration for the Circle Lottery. Now, this victory from the union to all Fremont Street performers who are union or non-union applies to all of you, whether we represent you or not. Let me show you this. Here's the PDF of the letter from the Labor Board addressed to me as president of the union. And the section that is important to you, I have highlighted here. And bear with me here. We're trying to get this information out as quick as possible, so we're not able to do a, the best video production we'd like to. But it says, an investigation revealed that you were a self-employed entertainer who has a license granted by the City of Las Vegas to perform on public streets that has been jointly designated by the City of Las Vegas and the employer. Okay, well what that basically means is the employer is the Fremont Street Experience, who the union still says is the employer along with the City of Las Vegas. However, that's a battle for another day. We've won this battle. You can now set and negotiate your own wages for performances and photos. What a great way to go in the new year. We have a victory for all of us. Now, we have notified the city, the judges, the city marshals, Las Vegas Metro, with a letter and a copy of this letter. And we have informed them that they can no longer enforce the city ordinance 11.68 Las Vegas Municipal Code for doing business without a license because you, according to the federal government, are licensed by the city. Despite what the disclaimer says on your registration, this is not a license to do business. Now, this has been obvious to the union since 2015 because you can't have the business licensing division of the city of Las Vegas issue a non-license. Then they wrote the city ordinance to restrain you from actually gaining the wages that you would like to suggest or request. So doing business without a license, here's how this is going to work. We've warned the city, we've warned all six departments of the municipal court and law enforcement. And we, in the city attorney, and we said, you can't enforce this any longer. Now, for the time being, all you have to do is set your prices that you wish for performance and photo if you like with the public which would be the tourists or the locals or whoever says hey how much for a photo or if you play this song can I pay you this and what happens is is if uh, management comes along and says hey you can't do that here's your ticket all you have to do is get a copy of this letter from me go to the judge when he says uh, Okay, street performer John Doe, you were cited on such and such date for doing business without a license. And you say, uh, I do have a license, Your Honor. And you hold up your registration from the city. And then you get a copy of this letter, free of charge to union and non-union performers. We'll give it to you if you email or call us. And you say, here's my license from the city. And here's the letter from the National Labor Relations Board sent to the union saying it is a license. The federal government has now declared the registration a license. So basically, they can't get a conviction on you. And if you present that to the law enforcement person issuing the ticket, that you have a license, you have a copy of the letter that was sent to us from the Labor Board, there's a problem. Then basically, the city, as a joint employer with the Fremont Street Experience, is engaged in restraint of trade and racketeering, a criminal act. So this is the victory for the new year. We're all going in the new year and now you're able to set your own prices. And we're going to continue the fight for your rights to get justice for us at the next level. But for now, this battle has been won and it's been hard fought by myself and the union since about 2013. And we've gone through a lot of crap and eventually I got terminated by the Fremont Street Experience in the city of Las Vegas for my performance. And that's still out there pending and hanging out there. We're going to deal with that in the courts. But for now, this is my Christmas and New Year's gift to you that you can set 
and negotiate your own prices because you are licensed. And the city knew this, but they tried to put the disclaimer on there to put economic stress on you so you couldn't make a fair living. Now you can. So when anybody says anything bad about the union or doesn't understand it, we're out there fighting behind the scenes for you. This has been a seven-year battle of my life, and quite frankly, it's tiring. I thought it was going to take about three to five years. We're, we're going in the seventh, the eighth year of it, and we're going to keep fighting the logical conclusion. I personally believe you are employees under the law. We're going to get that day in court, and if you are, you're going to be entitled to back minimum wage for every hour you we're in a circle or we're under management's control. If we lose that, we lose that, but that's for a judge to decide, not the National Labor Relations Board and not uh, Fremont Street and their attorneys and the city's attorneys. This is a major labor dispute, and you are part of the Fremont Street experience, and you are under their control. So we'll keep hacking away at that to eventually prove what your status is. But for now, the Labor Board wants to say you're self-employed and you're licensed, so go out there and make all the money you can. And you, you deserve it because you were part of the entire Fremont Street experience, entertaining the tourists from the world and the locals. I'm Michael Troy Moore, President and General Counsel of the Union. You can call me at 702-824-8342 if you want a copy of this, or email me at michaeltroymoreesq at aol.com. Happy New Year, my friends, and keep entertaining the hell out of everybody because you're the reason people come to the Fremont Street experience. Happy New Year.